how language is controlled by the brain, with modern methods of brain imaging, we can see which brain regions are most active when someone is producing uh, words or sentences or when they're listening to speech. There are particular regions of the brain that are used for talking and understanding, and in most people, these are on the left side of the brain. If these regions are damaged by diseases such as strokes or tumours, a person may lose the ability to talk fluently or to understand. And this is a condition known as aphasia or dysphasia. In the past, specific language impairment was sometimes referred to as developmental dysphasia. However, we know now that the causes of language difficulties in children are very different from those in adults. There are some very rare brain diseases that can interfere with children's language development, but they will usually cause other symptoms, such as epilepsy or problems with physical development. In general, a brain scan won't chart any obvious abnormality in a child who has specific language impairment. Brain scans are nevertheless sometimes done with language impaired children for research purposes. These studies have had mixed results. There's some evidence that, as a group, there are differences in the relative size of different brain regions between children with specific language impairment and other children. Some studies find that children with specific language impairment may not show the usual left-sided brain bias. They process language using both sides of their brain rather equally. But nevertheless, these differences are small and they don't affect all children with specific language impairment. And in general, in our current state of knowledge, it wouldn't be possible to look at a brain scan and tell whether or not a child had a language impairment. If you're worried that your child's language difficulties might have a neurological basis, you should talk to your family doctor. And a brain scan or other investigations may be recommended if your child's language has deteriorated or if there's signs of other neurological problems. However, such cases are very rare. If you'd like to find out more about studies that have looked at the brain in children with specific language impairment, please follow the links to the slideshow and references that accompany this talk. Thanks for listening.